Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Singapore chili crabs. That's right, even though I've never been there, I've always liked Singapore. Whenever I watch one of those foodie travel shows, the people seem great, the food looks amazing, and I love the fact that if tourists fly over there and get drunk and act like idiots, they're caned in public. I mean, you gotta admit, that's a great idea. But anyway, I'm very excited to show you my take on Singapore's famous crustacean sensation, the chili crab. So let's go ahead and get started, and of course you need some crab. And in Singapore they do something called a mud crab, but we don't have that around here. So I'm going to use a couple Dungeness crabs, but this really should work with whatever kind of crab you have access to in your region. And in a perfect world you'd use live crabs and kill them and cut them up yourself. But I know that's not practical for most of the people watching this video. So I'm going to demonstrate this using crab that's already been steamed and cracked. And by the way, that's one of the big keys here. It has to be cracked before you do this recipe. There has to be places for that sauce to go, okay? So my crab is basically ready to go, except I am going to do one thing. I'm going to take these parts, which is the body of the crab, and cut these up a little smaller. And this is very, very easy to do. Just take a knife and cut straight down in between the sections where the legs attached. And just cut that into like three pieces like this. And by the way, these parts contain the sweetest, most delicate meat, which is of course also the hardest to get. Thanks a lot, nature. But anyway, I'm going to cut those body sections up and add it to my already cracked legs. And then all we're going to do is reserve that in the fridge until needed which is gonna be very soon. This is a very quick recipe. So our crab set and it's on to the aromatics. So what we'll do is we'll take a nice big soup or stock pot and we're gonna drizzle in a few tablespoons of vegetable oil to which we're gonna add some minced shallots. Although you know what, I'm not using shallots. I'm using red onion, which by the way in the business we call trailer park shallots, but pretty much any kind of onion is gonna work here. We're also gonna add a whole bunch of minced garlic and an equally generous amount of minced fresh ginger root and I'm also going to put in a little bit of diced serrano pepper. That will be the first of two kinds of chilies in this. And we'll give that a little mix with a spoon. And what's going to happen here? We're going to sizzle those aromatic ingredients in that oil. Then we'll toss in our crab, coat it in that, then finish it with the sauce, which is going to give us like a one-two punch of flavor. Oh, and by the way, try to use a pot that has a nice tight-fitting lid. Because as I mentioned, we're going to coat the crab with this flavorful oil first. And one easy way to do that is to give it the old shake a shake it with the lid on. So that's pretty much it for that step. And we'll go ahead and just leave that on the stove while we make our sauce. Which is super easy, although you may have to hunt down a couple ingredients. Not including this one. This one's easy. We're going to start with some ketchup. We're also going to need some soy sauce. We also want to throw in a spoon of oyster sauce, which they do have at your grocery store. It's near the soy sauce and the rice vinegar. So a little bit of oyster sauce. And then I'm also going to put in some tamarind paste, which they do not have at your grocery store. Although they do have it at the grocery store that you don't shop at across town. So drive over there to get some. And that has a very unique kind of sweet citrusy flavor. So try to find some. And if you can, I'll give you some tips on the blog of what to do. And then of course, this is called chili crab. So I'm going to add a couple big spoons of sambal chili sauce. We're also going to put in a little bit of fish sauce. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use dried shrimp paste, but I don't have that. So I'm going to put a little bit of fish sauce, as well as a little bit of palm sugar, also known as coconut sugar. But don't worry, brown sugar is going to work just as well. We're also, believe it or not, going to crack in an egg. Don't be scared. And regarding the egg, a lot of recipes skip it and actually use cornstarch to thicken this. I'm sorry, but that's no bueno. The egg just adds so much to this. It is a key ingredient. Don't skip it. And then we'll thin it out with a little bit of crab stock, which you don't have, and neither do I. So we can use a little chicken broth or water. And then we'll simply take a whisk and mix that together. And obviously, all this stuff's to taste, which of course means if you don't like how this comes out, it's your fault. You are the Donovan McNabs of your chili crabs, so don't be afraid to call an audible. But anyway, we're gonna mix that up, and when that's done, it's time to party. So let's head back over to the stove and place our heat on medium high, and we're gonna give our aromatic ingredients a nice sizzle in that oil. Normally this stuff is thrown into very, very hot oil, which is kind of risky, since you can easily burn the garlic, which will kind of wreck this dish. So I like to start mine in cold oil and bring it up to a sizzle from there. I think it extracts just as much flavor and much less risky. And I should warn you, your kitchen's gonna smell amazing. So like I said, let's get that stuff sizzling on medium high heat. And what we'll do once we hear that sizzling, we'll just cook that for a couple minutes until the onions and garlic kind of turn translucent. And once that has cooked for a couple minutes, we'll go ahead and dump in our crab and any accumulated juices. So let's push that down in the pot. And then all we're gonna do is top it with the lid and very carefully using two towels, give it the old shake a shake which is gonna coat that crab in that amazingly aromatic oil. And please be careful, do not fling this all over the kitchen. Because you know who'll get blamed? Me, that's right. So carefully give that a nice shake, and we'll take off the lid. And I'm gonna give it another stir with my long spoon here. Which by the way, you can just do all this with a spoon, you don't have to shake it. And all we're gonna do is shake and or stir that crab in that oil for about three minutes until the crab is just barely heated through. At which point let's lower our heat to medium and pour in our sauce. 
and we will continue cooking and mixing on medium heat until that sauce thickens up. Don't forget it's got an egg in there and coats that crab. So you can see right here that egg's gonna tighten up that sauce. As I touched on earlier, I think this is far, far superior to any corn starch mixture. And as soon as your sauce is nice and hot and is thickened up and that crab meat is thoroughly heated, you're basically done and ready to serve. So at this point, we're gonna turn off the heat and for the final touches, I'm gonna to toss in some freshly chopped cilantro and I'm also gonna throw in some chive. Now, usually I would use green onions, which I believe would be the choice in Singapore. But you know what? I had an overgrown chive plant in the backyard that need a little trim. So I'm using chives this time, very similar flavor. And we'll stir that in and that is officially done. So let's go ahead and transfer that into some kind of bowl. You definitely wanna use a bowl because all that sauce is gonna pool up at the bottom and you are gonna dip your crab into that as you eat. So we'll pour that in. I'm gonna garnish with a few more cilantro leaves, which I had to edit since that took me like 20 minutes to get those where I wanted. But eventually I did. And our Singapore chili crabs are done. And as I go to dig in here, I have to warn you, this is one of the messiest dishes of all time. So ideally you're gonna eat this alone, naked in the bathtub, which I know is not always practical. So make sure you got a tablecloth down or some newspaper and lots of napkins, because other than a small cocktail fork, you're pretty much gonna go at this with your bare fingers. And of course you're gonna drag it through that incredible sauce. And when you taste that sweet crab meat with that gingery garlicky chili sauce, kind of sweet, kind of tangy, it's just an incredible crab eating experience. And I've had crab prepared in hundreds and hundreds of ways, and this is probably the most delicious. I mean, there's just no mystery why this is one of Singapore's national dishes. It's just insanely good. And as I mentioned, the sweetest and most delicious meat is gonna be in those body sections, which you can dig out with a small fork with a little bit of effort, or you can do what I'm gonna do here and just forget the fork and just suck that meat right out. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go because I need to be alone with this, but I really do hope you go out and find some crab and give this incredible Singapore chili crab recipe a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.